Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Habit tafila. A question will ask, what's the ruling on women dressing provocative around their adult or child age children? Also ruling on women parading out of hijab around windows in the house where the curtains are open, claiming it's no one looking in there. Uh, please advise us, Barakallah Fikum. Uh, the scholars have mentioned about uh, some of these masail and have been asked about them. And from my knowledge and what I have read is, of course, that from haya, from shyness, is that a woman should not be provocative, obviously, around her adult children or anyone except for her husband. And... If it is around the husband, it's actually something, obviously, marghub. It is something which is desired, something which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that she's trying to please her husband. And pleasing to the husbands, obviously, most of them. And with that being the case, as far as the adult children, it sets a bad precedence. If you're, if the, the mother is, you know, it sets a bad example for girls, for their tarbiyah, uh, in them watching, they see their mother and they're going to imitate their mother if they see her, you know, dressing provocative. Now that, again, is also a relative term. So we also got to look at that. Uh, <coughs> that depends upon the culture. What you mean by provocative? Provocative. Do you mean a miniskirt? Do you mean fishnets? Do you mean, you know, all, all those kind of things? It, it, that's culturally relevant. Do you mean like a... Um, a close-fitting, uh, not jilbab, but the under the the garment that a lot of the women wear, uh, especially in the Arab Peninsula and in uh, uh, many African countries as well. The uh, I think the Somalis they say the Bati and and others wearing those kind of garments, and I've forgotten the names. But anyhow, uh, that. The ulama, and we'll try to find some uh, exact uh, fatawa, which is easy to do because there's many fatawa out there, where the scholars mentioned this about what the women, uh, the women's dress in Islam in general, and even with regards to these uh, issues. So in, again, that also depends upon the culture. Do you mean that, you know, maybe perhaps one person's culture, you know, uh, you, you probably, in most cult, you're not going to wear the mini skirt. The mother should not be wearing something like that around her adult children. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, the people would feel kind of shy seeing their mother exposed. And again, for the example that it sets. The second question that you, you mentioned <coughs> around the, about the issue of uh, parading around the window or going by the window and it's, it's far Obviously, the afdalia, the best, is that the woman does not do that, that she refrains from that uh, if she can be seen. And so that, that, in and of a nutshell, is, is, is the scenario, that she should refrain from that. that. That's best for her. Now, if it's true that actually no one can see, for example, you live in the middle of nowhere, and she goes, she closes the curtains, and she doesn't, you know, uh, wear hijab and, and so on and so forth, that this is a, a different scenario. But... Just to be safer, it's best for modesty to safeguard yourself uh, in any kind of environment where you might be seen, and especially if you are very relaxed in the home environment. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muhammad.